And we're back with jazz hands. <laughs> okay, we are doing this. Um, I am first going in with Max Fix Plus, just moisturizing my face and doing the uh, obligatory hand wave. And then I'm going in with another rack product. This is Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm just using this to neutralize the color in my eyelids. Get rid of all those red veins, which I have a plenty, and also to keep my shadows lasting longer and to make them look more vibrant. Just blending that. And then I'm going in with my trusty Sigma E40 blending brush and Max Soft Brown eyeshadow in the crease as my transition shade. Um, yeah, I really need to find a new color. I use this all the time. But it really is the perfect color for my skin tone. I'd say uh, a little bit darker from like a light medium to a fair skin tone. This is the perfect blending shade for your crease. If you're darker than medium skin tone, I'd say maybe uh, Max Saddle or Makeup Geeks Cocoa Bear would be another good one. Now I'm going in with a shader brush from Sigma and one of my favorite, favorite, favorite shades. This is Max Sable. Ugh. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> um, this is definitely one of my absolute top shades from MAC. If I had to rebuild my collection, this would definitely be one of the first ones I would repurchase. Um, kind of hard to describe. It's like a, it's got a sheen to it. It's um, got some brown, some taupe, a little bit of purple undertones maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of indescribable, but it is so pretty and it is so easy to blend out. I honestly probably didn't even need to use soft brown to help with the blending, but I did just out of habit. And then I'm going back in with the Sigma E40 with no additional product on it, just to blend out the edges. Um, and again, this is so easy to blend out. It really just like blends like a dream. There are no harsh lines whatsoever. And now I'm going back in with that same flat shader brush from Sigma with bronze from MAC, which is just a bronze shade. Um, it's kind of similar to the sable that I already used all over the bit, just um, a couple shades darker. So I'm just using this to add some depth to the let's say, outer half of my eyelid. And then I'm just using the same Sigma E40 with still no additional product just to kind of blend that into the sable. And then I'm going to go in with an even deeper shade. This is Mocha by Makeup Geek. And it is a dark matte brown. Um, it's a little bit on the warm side, but it's, it's pretty neutral. Um, and I'm using a large pencil brush or a small crease brush, whatever you want to call this. This is from the drugstore. It's by Essence of Beauty. I love it. Um, and I'm kind of putting that mocha shade into a more like a soft C shape than a sharp outer V because I want this to be more of a rounded, smoky, blown out look as opposed to a sharp cat eye. Um, you can definitely see that because the shade is matte, it is a bit more difficult to blend and I've got more of those harsh lines. Um, but that is okay because we are going to go back in and blend those out as well. See? I promised. Woo! Those definitely need to be taken care of. <laughs> so just the same brush again. And I think I did go back in with a tiny bit more soft brown on the brush this time to help the blending process. Now I'm gonna go in and do my brows. And if you would like to see how I do those, please let me know in the comment section below and I can do a separate video on that, but it would absolutely take me at least a good 10 minutes for me to actually record the whole process because if you didn't notice, I have like, five hairs on each eyebrow. Now I'm going in with, this is actually a eyeliner brush. Um, it's from e.l.f. It's also from the drugstore and it is about one dollar, I believe. Totally a steal. Um, just as good as Sigma brushes or anything more expensive. Um, this I'm using to apply Dazzle Light by MAC. So a shimmery, pale, yellowy toned highlight color to get right under that brow bone and then I'm using my finger just to blend it down and out. And then I'm going to take some more of the Dazzle Light on another, I don't know what I'm doing there, another um, 
brush from the drugstore. This is a sort of an angled fluffy brush, another one by Essence of Beauty. Using that in my inner corners and then because I'm a perfectionist, going back up under the brow again, just using that to help blend it out a little bit more. And now I'm shaking up my primer. I love this primer. This is by Laura Mercier. It is expensive for sure. It's their uh, facial radiance, foundation radiance primer. I don't know, I'll link it down below. But it is absolutely beautiful. I stuck face bureau. Um, it adds just this really beautiful glow to your skin that you can either do on its own or under foundation. Next, I'm going to go in with another Laura Mercier product. This is the Silk Cream Foundation. Um, I forgot how much I love this foundation. It gives such a natural finish. It absolutely, it just looks like skin when you blend it out. Oh, and I believe that is one of my kittens coming in to join me. Um, anyway, I'm using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to apply this. Um, I find this to be a really good brush for thicker, cream products as opposed to really liquidy foundations. <laughs> um, that's the cat. And just using that to buff everything out. And where'd I go? Oh, there's Annabelle. Say hi, Annabelle. Okay, Vera, back to business. <laughs> now I'm going in to do my eyeliner. This is where it gets ugly. <laughs> um, it's really hard to film doing eyeliner and have it in the frame. So anyway, I did the best that I could. I'm using a Sigma E65, which is a angled brush um, to apply some Maybelline gel liner. I go along my lash line first, and then I go to do my wing. Wait, nope, not a wing. Doing the other eye first. <laughs> Sorry, I lied. Um, now I'm going in to do my wing. Um, I am trying to line up the brush with how it works for my eyes. Um, this is also a video in itself. Um, let me know if you'd like to see it. Once I figure out how to do it with the camera, I would love to do that for you guys. Anyway, for now, we're just going to skip it and I am going in with mascara. Um, this is by Maybelline. This is their Rocket Volumizing Mascara. Not sure if I'm getting that name right, but I will write it down. The description bar below. Um, just putting on a quickle, <laughs> quickle, a couple quick. Oh my goodness, a couple quick coats of mascara so that they blend in with my false lashes. Oh my goodness, quickle. I just can't get over it. Anyway, there they are applied. These are by Kiss. Um, they're in the flirty design. They're also from the drugstore, and I just want to apologize front for losing light. Um, I had to switch <laughs> backgrounds because the sun decided to go behind the clouds and never return at this point. So I'm blending out some more sable under my eyes and I'm using a Sigma pencil brush to do that. Um, I don't need to use any other color to blend it out because again sable just blends so beautifully on its own. Now I'm going in under my eyes with my Dream Lumi Touche um, <laughs> Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer by Maybelline. This is a total drugstore gem. I think this is a really awesome dupe for the YSL Touche Eclat, if I'm saying that correctly, which is like $40. I've tried it on in Sephora and honestly I cannot even tell the difference between the two. So I'm using it to brighten up my under eye area. And then I'm going in with another Maybelline product, because um, it's just a Maybelline kind of day. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I'm just using this to quickly blot away any shining, shininess on my T-zone and on my cheeks. And then I'm going in with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Um, not really contouring so much as just bronzing up my face. Um, this is a Real Techniques Multitask Brush. Really good for non-precision work on your face. It's really fluffy and soft. It feels like you're rubbing clouds on your face. I'm um, just using that to put the bronzer all over. Make me look not quite as ghostly. Um, this pro ooh, bronzer smells like chocolate. 
Like it is actually made with cocoa powder. It is the coolest thing ever. Every time I open it, I have to smell it. You need to try it. Now I'm gonna go in with blush. This is Cabana Boy by The Balm. This is the blush I talked about in my fall favorites that is super pigmented, like a berry sheen. And because I refuse to smile like a normal person when I'm putting on my blush, I'm instead making this even more awkward face while putting it on. But anyway, this is one of those blushes you use a really, really light hand. I'm blowing it off before I put it on my face and then just blending it back. Next, I am going in with Mary Luminizer by The Balm. It is a really intense, um, golden hued highlighter and I am using my Sonia Kashuk fan brush to apply this. This brush is perfect for any product that you want to apply really really sparingly um, and I'm just using that to go down the bridge of my nose and I'm going to use my finger to put a little bit onto my cupid's bow blending that out because it definitely needs it. It is super intense. And then I'm using my pinky to apply a little bit in my inner corners as well. Um, and then I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger. And now it is finally time for the lipstick. This is in the shade Divine Wine by Maybelline. It's one of their new matte lipsticks. Um, using that, using my pinky to kind of rub that in first to create a bottom layer or a stain so that it really stays. And then I'm going to apply it straight from the tube for a second layer. Um, this is where it would have been nice if I had a little more time <laughs> to put it on, but I didn't. So I just kind of slapped it on there. And then finally finished up with another couple of spritzes of Max Fix Plus just to set everything, meld it together, and to add more of that dewy glow. And that is it now for this Thanksgiving makeup tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.